Hello, hello, and welcome to Sight Be On This Channel. Today, finally, I want to show you how to exfoliate your skin. This is the way that I do it. If you want to try this way, it works. Now, as you can see, my skin, I have not been taking care of my skin because I've been trying to work so much. And sad to say, I haven't washed my face in two days, really. My personal toner, I use that to cleanse my face as well as tone my face when I'm not able to wash my face. But today I wanted to share this with you because it's very important. I want you to see my skin as it is right now. I have some blemishes. Um, do I break out? Yes, I still have breakouts, but I know how to control it. If I take care of my skin the way I'm supposed to, I won't have any problems. And y'all have seen my skin have tremendously cleared up. Now this is a God gift, It's what it is. And I have to say that every time that it's truly a God's gift because this is a gift that God gave to me. And at the first of the year, I was telling you guys to go out and purchase this Yogi Tea. You will find this in your hot beverage section of your grocery store. This is the Yogi the Green Tea Super Antioxidant Tea. This is what we're going to use to exfoliate our skin. Now this can be used for any teenager up to an adult whether you're female or male it does not matter whenever you're doing an exfoliation you never want to wash your face first and the reason being because you're going to open your pores and if you open your pores your skin become more sensitive to doing this exfoliation there are a couple of things you're going to need in order to do this very inexpensive and very effective so we're going to get started these are the items that you're going to need that is the yogi super antioxidant green tea you're going to need some baking soda you don't need anything this large they sell the smaller box at your local dollar tree you're going to need some oil of your choice as i recommended this oil some time ago this is very this is a very good oil and if you can buy it from your local sam's club you're going to get the most for your money so i have two of these and as you can see i've been using mine i have one in the kitchen and one i keep in my bathroom so this is the avocado oil if you're allergic to avocado oil you can use whatever your favorite oil is the reason I use the avocado oil is because it's a little bit more thicker and you will see the benefits of this oil I have very sensitive skin if you breathe on me wrong I will break the hell out okay this is a thicker oil if it's thicker so why do you use it because it's more beneficial to the skin than I have discovered with other oils but you can use other oils you can use almond oil you can use grapeseed oil. Whatever your favorite oil is, you can use it. You're also going to need some measuring devices. Pick this up from your local Dollar Tree. $1. This bowl, I bought this from a local Dollar Tree. So I use this a lot whenever I'm mixing. Also going to need, you can have an old cotton shirt that's clean to dry your face. If you don't have that on hand, go into your kitchen and get you some um, coffee filters. And if you don't want to use the coffee filters, you can just allow your skin to naturally dry on, on its own. And then once I finish with that, I have to follow up with my soap. Because you want to take off the dead skin first. So when you open the pores, you want to go in to clean it just a little bit more with your favorite soap. This, I love this. I buy this from a local Dollar Tree whenever I can find it. And it only costs $1.00. And this is a vegetable glycerin soap. This is compared to the Olive Olay Facial Scrub Kit. And I purchased this from Rite Aid. The reason I purchased this is because they have a money back guarantee. Anything that says money back guarantee, you cannot go wrong. Always know that. Any item that you see, you want to purchase, and it has a money back guarantee on it, pick it up. Get it. I'm going to use this as well as my facial scrub for my spinner. Everyone in my household have one of these kits and I try to buy them when they have them buy one get one free and I try to bring that sale or that deal to you when I see that on sale for that price. But I have talked enough. Come on in and you're going to see me mix everything together and then guess what? When it's all said and done your skin is one step closer to being the best that it can be. So come on in. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and take one package of your tea out of your box. Yes. 
You want to remove this from your tea bag. I normally just take it and tear across. Take the remaining tea and just twist it. Place that back in your bag for a later usage. Okay, now you wanna go ahead and take your spoon and mix everything up very well. Okay, it should look just like that. And what I tend to do is to allow it to marinate so it's gonna sit like this for about five minutes. And then we're gonna come back to apply it to our skin. Okay, so now that it has been sitting for about five minutes, everything, all the ingredients have mixed very well. We're gonna go ahead and take our fingers to apply it. And take it and just rub it in your skin. As you can see before, my skin is very oily. If you feel any type of slight irritation, that is normal. And when you apply this with your fingers, be very gentle. Okay, so we're gonna allow this to sit on our skin for five minutes, come back, and then we're gonna rinse it off with cold water. You can take a look at my skin with this exfoliating mask on my face. Whenever you're applying it around your eyes, be very careful because it's very sensitive around here. And you really wanna hit your nose to unclog your pores on your nose. If you want to, you can take it underneath your neck as well. You will feel some kind of slight irritation when you first do this, if it's unbearable, go ahead and rinse your face immediately with cold water. I need to get that neck down. That jiggler. Get that jiggler. Look at that. And this is how my face is looking. I got it on my lips, underneath my neck, and I am like five minutes in. Let's go ahead and rinse this off with some cold water. So now that I have washed everything off my face, we removed all the dead skin. Now we're gonna go ahead and cleanse the skin. You're gonna have your skin feeling very greasy. You want that to be. I'm gonna take my soap. This is what I use. I'm not gonna wet the soap. I'm gonna take my exfoliating brush. I'm gonna wet that with cold water. You see how clean that brush is? Now I'm gonna take this. This is the only thing wet. Look at my soap, it's dry. You wanna take it and go across whatever your product you use. I'm gonna take this and go into my skin gently. So now I'm cleansing the skin. You can go around your eyes, but be very gentle if you have one of these. And the reason I like this particular one is because you have full control. It only has one speed, but you have full control of the pressure and how intense you want to apply this brush to your skin. So I'm going to go into my skin and it feels very good. This is how my brush is looking. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to show my face. Now I'm gonna take the cold water and rinse my face for one last time. Okay, so this is how my skin is looking. Always wash your face with cold water. Don't use hot water. We was taught to use hot water and the only thing it's gonna do is dry your skin out, burn it out. Uh, not rejuvenate the skin with the collagen and the refreshness of 
uh, vibrant skin. It's not even give you that. Use cold water. You know I'm gonna tell you what's right, right? Okay. Let's go back in the room. Yeah, I'm doing this by myself, but I'm trying to teach you something that's beneficial, okay? Now you can take that coffee filter or you can take your cotton, old cotton shirt to dry your face off if you would like. Me personally, I like to let it air dry if I have time. And you don't have to do anything else to your skin. You don't have to moisturize it or anything because it's going to be fully moisturized. I have a natural shot. Let's go, man. Let's go. Okay, y'all. So this is how my skin is looking afterwards. Did I pat dry my skin? I didn't. You can take your cotton if you're in a hurry and you want to put your makeup on on the way out the door before you do this. But I really would recommend that you do this right before bedtime. I really would. But you can take your cotton and just gently pat your skin. If you don't have that, go get me in the kitchen, get you some tea bags, and gently pat. But you want to keep some of that moisture in your skin. You're going to moisturize your skin in a natural way is what it's going to do from this avocado oil. It's not going to feel heavy. It's going to absorb into your skin. And you're going to look fabulous over a period of time. Now, this is what I have left over. Not a whole lot. You can place this in one of those little small containers. Go buy Dollar Tree and buy your small container. Cap it up, and you have some for the next time. But remember, this right here, this is our temple from the inside out. You want to take care of it as much as possible. And when it comes to your skin, I could have just brought you the exfoliation mix and told you what to do. But you know on this channel, I like to teach people what I know. When it comes to this right here, everybody got videos of how you can cleanse your skin with this. Does it really work to exfoliate your skin? It does. But guess what? If you do not do it where you're mixing a lot of oil with it, it the only thing it's going to do is burn your skin off. That's it. So if you do it this way in moderation and add more oil to it, then you're not going to have that irritation. You're not going to have those burning sensations. And when you're ready to rinse it off, always use cold water i learned this the hard way i learned this by trials and error and a lot of time the best teacher there is is to learn it on your own through trials and error and i learned that in my skin because a lot of times i said my skin look good and it does for the most part but uh when i'm taking care of it it looks good but yeah those are the things we're gonna recap right quick you're gonna go by your grocery store and pick up this yogi super antioxidant green tea you need that. This will last you probably a year or two. Hell, buy a box share with somebody. You're going to need a oil of your choice. I I love this avocado oil. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. I buy this large size of baking soda because I use it for a lot of different things. Especially when it comes to my skin. I use it for a lot of different things. Mix it the way I just told you. Once you have mixed it, allow it to sit for five minutes. I gotta recap people, please let me do this because there's some, there's some people who are not gonna get it and I want everybody to have the best skin they can have. Mix it, let it sit for five minutes to the side. Then you wanna take your hands, take your fingers and apply that to your skin in a circular motion. When you're applying it, be very careful not to go around your eyes because it's very sensitive around here. You wanna go ahead and go down the sides and the crease of your nose to unclog the pores on your nose and remove all those black heads and whatever's going on. You even can apply it to your lips. Your lips will be so soft, your man gonna wanna kiss on you. You may wanna suck your lips up just kissing you, okay? You can take it down your neck, all over here, over here. <sighs> oh Lord, let me stop. Mm. And then once you cleanse, once you allow it to sit on your face for five minutes, don't go no further because we're doing this in moderation, right? You want to take it to your sink. If you're using like your regular um, sink and not a, a stainless steel sink, you, you're going to have some clean up to do. You're going to have to clean it up. Bottom line, you're going to clean, okay? But it's worth it. My skin is so soft. I don't have to put any moisturizer on my skin. My skin's not dry. Come on back. We're going to work on the skin. I'm going to show you how to get it together. And um, it just takes a little time. It takes time. Whenever I don't do my skin, this is what happens. It breaks out. But if I go ahead and stay on it, it's getting pretty like a baby's bottom, okay? And I want yours to look the same way. Don't rush out there and just try to buy one of these. Come on back. We're gonna, like I said, we're going to talk about skin. We're going to talk about skin and get you right for life. Not just for the summer, but for life. And especially you ladies. Because you can't go around right wearing this hot ass makeup of. Oh, can't go around wearing this makeup in the summertime. It's too hot for that. Wear this, this beautifulness. You know, your beautifulness. That's what you want to wear. I'm going to go ahead and get off here because the next video coming up, you won't believe it. 
but stay tuned there's more skincare coming and you want to look your very best you really do and i'm going to help you achieve that especially being a teenager it's hard it's it's going on and on but yes achieve the beautiful skin that you was created in okay so i hope you've enjoyed the time we've shared together go ahead and share this exfoliated mask with your friends and others and i hope to see you guys in the next video until next time you know the saying be blessed bye y'all